what if you could build your first real-time dashboard in Python, even as a complete beginner? A dashboard that shows live cryptocurrency prices, stock data, and weather updates, all in one place, updating automatically? Hi, I'm Daniel. Welcome to my channel where I make smart tutorials. In today's video, we are going to create exactly that. I'll walk you through how to set up your project, get live data from APIs, build beautiful interactive charts, and bring everything together using Streamlit, one of the easiest tools for building Python apps. And thanks to Skillshare, this project is even more accessible. If you want to explore Python, data visualization, or hundreds of other creative and professional topics, Skillshare is a fantastic platform to learn at your own pace from world-class creators. You don't need to be an expert. I'll explain every step clearly. So even if you are new to coding or just starting to learn Python and data visualization, you'll be able to follow along and build something awesome. Also, I've left all the useful links in the description below, so don't forget to check them out. Let's get started. Skillshare tutorial. Okay, guys, if you're just starting out in programming or data visualization, this tutorial is perfect for you. Today, we're going to build a real-time dashboard together. In just 15 minutes, you'll have a working app that shows cryptocurrency exchange rates, weather updates, and stock market data all with automatic updates. Don't worry if some of the terms sound a bit tricky. I'll walk you through everything step by step. Even if you are still learning Python or new to data analytics, you'll be able to follow along and build this project. Before we jump into coding, let's set up the working environment. I'll be using PyCharm for this tutorial, but feel free to use any IDE you like. Something like VS Code works just as well. The first thing we need to do is install the libraries that will handle most of the tasks for us. Open the terminal and run this command. This creates a new folder called Real-Time Dashboard. Once you're inside the folder, we'll install a few important libraries. We'll start with Streamlit, which lets you create web apps without needing to know HTML. Then Plotly, which is great for building beautiful, interactive graphs. We'll also use requests to fetch data from the Internet and Pandas to manage and process data tables. Kind of like working with Excel, but in Python. While the libraries are installing, let's go ahead and set up the project files. We're going to need three of them. First, there's app.py. That'll be the main file running the whole program. Then we'll make datasource.py, which will be responsible for pulling data from the Internet. And finally, we'll add charts.py, which will handle creating the graphs for our dashboard. Now, why are we splitting our code into separate files? This is called modular architecture. It helps organize the code into smaller parts, making it easier to understand, manage and update later on. Let's start with datasource.py. This file will be responsible for grabbing fresh data from the Internet. We'll be using APIs, which stands for Application Programming Interface. It's basically how different programs talk to each other. Think of it like asking Google for info, but here our program does the asking automatically. So let's write the code and walk through it. First, we import the request library so we can make HTTP requests. That's how we ask online servers for data. We'll build a URL to connect to and send a request. And if the status code is 200 or higher, that means we successfully received the data. It usually comes in JSON format, which is just a structured way of packaging information. We'll then convert that data into a data frame using Pandas. It's basically a table, similar to an Excel sheet, but in Python. We'll also add some error handling to the code. That way, if something goes wrong, the program knows what to do instead of crashing. Next, we move on to charts.py, where we'll create some beautiful visualizations for our data. For that, we'll use Plotly. It doesn't just make nice charts, they're interactive too, so you can hover over them and see detailed info. In this part, we'll use figures which are containers that hold our graphs. Then we'll create traces, which represent the actual data points, like bars or lines. The layout will help style the graph with colors, labels, and sizes. 
We'll also add metrics, little indicators that show numeric values and changes, and arrange everything using columns, so the elements are neatly aligned on the page. And now let's bring it all together in the main file. This is where we'll actually create the web page and where everything starts coming to life with real-time updates. It's the most exciting part, because here's where we finally see the dashboard in action. We'll start by importing everything we need. Things like Streamlit for visualizing the app, time for adding delays, date time for working with dates, data source which is our data fetching script, and chart creator which handles the chart visuals. Now the main function is basically the entry point. It's where the whole program begins. Inside it, we'll create containers, which are the parts of the page that get updated. We're also going to use a while loop to keep refreshing the data, as long as the condition stays true. We'll add a little pause using sleep, just so the app has time to breathe between updates. There's a sidebar for user settings, and we'll work with empty containers first, so we can fill them with fresh data later on. And now comes the best part. It's time to launch the dashboard. In the terminal, just type streamlitrunapp.py. Streamlit will ask you to sign in by entering your email, and then it'll automatically open the dashboard right in your browser, pulling all the info live from the API. At this point, I hit a small mistake. But don't worry, it's super easy to fix. That's one of the reasons I like using Streamlit. You can just copy the error message, Google it, or even ask ChatGPT and get an answer right away. In this case, it was a common beginner issue, a duplicate element ID. Basically, Streamlit assigns a unique ID to every element on the page. But because we are updating the graphs inside a loop, new elements were being created with the same ID, which caused a conflict. The fix? We just need to assign a unique key to each element using an update counter. So in app.py, all we really need to tweak is the main loop. Instead of using while, we'll switch to ST experimental rerun, which is a more stable method for auto updates. And we'll add a unique ID to each block. And here's the result, folks. The error is gone and our dashboard works perfectly. Auto updates are running and we can turn them on or off and even adjust how often they refresh. That's it. We've built a working real-time dashboard. And I have to say guys, this simple project was made way easier thanks to the Skillshare course Data Science. Python Data Visualization for Beginners. It's made up of 8 clear, practical video lessons that helped me write this exact code and understand how dashboards like this work. If you're just getting started with development, Skillshare has plenty of beginner-friendly content, and if you're more advanced, you'll find higher-level courses too. Whether you're into Python, web dev, or just want to explore new skills, there's a ton of useful content on Skillshare to dive into. Course Review The platform itself is very useful. I have already completed a few lessons from the course ChatGPT for Creatives, and I really liked it. The way the content is presented is excellent. It's clear, engaging, and easy to follow. Guys, I haven't finished the course yet, I'm still going through it, but overall the information and the structure are very well done. You can quickly review the project instructions to understand what you need to do. There are downloadable resources, in this case a prompting playbook you can use in your daily work. The video system is also very convenient. It uses picture-in-picture -picture mode, so you can follow along while working on your project. Another feature I like is that you can check out projects created by other participants. You also have the option to read reviews from other students or leave your own feedback. Also, my friends, there is a discussion forum where you can ask questions and take part in conversations. 
Each video comes with a full transcript that matches the subtitles. If you prefer reading, you can study the course entirely in text format as well. Overall, the platform is very comfortable to use, and the teachers are great. Personally, folks, I recommend Skillshare for learning new technologies, especially in today's fast-paced, constantly evolving world. Final thoughts. OK, folks, your real-time dashboard is up and running. Pulling in live data for crypto prices, the stock market, and weather updates. It's clean, fast, and fully functional. And now you've got the foundation to expand it any way you like. What I love about this project is that it shows how much you can actually build with just a few tools and the right kind of guidance. I got inspired to create this after taking a beginner-friendly data visualization course on Skillshare. And honestly, it made the whole process so much clearer. The teachers are amazing because they're not just experts, they're active professionals sharing what they know in a super hands-on way. It doesn't feel like school. You're actually building things, exploring ideas, and learning in a way that sticks. Plus, the platform just feels like a creative space where you're not rushing or competing. You're just growing at your own pace. So if you're ready to level up your skills, whether that's coding, design, or anything in between, you should go check out Skillshare. Use my code for a 30-day free trial or just click the link in the description to get started. The first 500 people to use my link in the description or scan the QR code will receive a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Get started today. If you're excited to try it out or if you've already used it and have some thoughts to share, drop a comment below. I'd love to hear your experiences. Don't forget to hit that like button if you found this video helpful and subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching, until next time.